So one thing I used to hear a lot when I was your age was I would hear pastors and worship leaders, they would say something like this. They would say, hey, leave all your stuff at the door. Leave your junk, leave your struggles, leave your sin, and come in and worship. And I never really thought a lot about what that meant until I got a little older. And I realized, you know, actually, we need to bring all of that stuff in with us. We need to bring it into worship, and we need to give it to God. I want you to turn to the person to your left and say, I'm going to give it to God. I want you to turn to the person to your right and say, and I'm going to do it today. All right. What I want you to do is that if your arms are folded, I just want you to unfold. All right. I want you to stretch out to the left and the right. All right. I want you to stretch up. I want you to take a deep breath. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Wow, that's really loud breathing. I mean, you should all see a doctor. Um, and, uh, and what I want you to do is, is to Kamal's challenge earlier. I just I want you to, to think about the things that you wish or you pray or you hope that God could make a way for you in your life for. And I want you, as we sing this song, I want you to think in your mind and your heart as if you are just giving those things over to God and saying, God, I need you to make this right. I need you to make a way for me. I don't see a way through this. I don't see a way out of this. I don't see a way over this. But I know that you can make a way. And I want you to just kind of forget about the person around you for a few moments as we sing this song. And I just want you to think about God there with you. And he's hearing and receiving the things that you're singing to him, for him, to make his name famous and big and glorious, and also for him to reach into your life <clears throat> and make something whole that's broken. And that's what we want to do as we sing uh, this song here uh, together.